Zerk as they sat on the CT side and Aileen coming in from Heroic actually going very quickly. Flashbang's going over as well. They're not slowing down at all here. Smoke down towards CT spawn and indeed towards Donut Room as well. Molotov at the back. This is looking very nice. Yeah, notoriously hard to retake this site, but there it is. Immediately out the gates, this fake. They know that they can draw the full retention of complexity over Grim. They win the first fight, but they're in the wrong place. Trying to go Donut towards B, apparently, because that's exactly where Shush and Yabi are. They're going to plant the bomb. Unfortunately, Tessus, at least he's buying a bit of time. The bomb has been planted on the other side. Now they've swarmed the site they understand. There's about 35 seconds on the clock. By the time they get there, probably about 25, but it's all on Shush. How many is he going to get? He needs multiple kills. It's that Yabi at one. It's not going to be enough. It's all on Yabi now. So, Yabi, what have you got for us? No armor, that's for sure. And uh, time is ticking away. He's currently... Up towards Jaguar here, hoping to get the early kill. That's how they're taken care of. And the Hepler kit should just be it. a full defuse, right? Spin around a little bit. Round over. Well handled from Complexity. It was a beautiful strategy from Heroic. Really enjoyed that. Uh, lovely deployment of the utility. But unfortunately, Grim makes light work of them towards the donuts. And uh, there we have it. Two kills. They get the bomb planted, but this didn't have the manpower to make anything of it. Two very precise shots here. Clean as you like there with the USP. That was the moment it could have fallen apart. If a double kill comes through upon rotation, could have found themselves in hot water. But uh, complexity, they managed to keep it very clean indeed. And we will see just an AK-47 purchased. An eco still, but shush. He's going to be the danger man here, looking to create some incisions if oh. possible. Deep Molly with a smoke on at mid-immediate there, so that's kind of wasted utility in a way, but it's all good. Uh, and one of the keys is you, you brought this AK, the contact towards A. Ooh. Hello. Okay. Well, if they can quickly scamper in towards Temple, they might be able to find themselves uh, another gun here. Shush up in a power position. They can't just rush the plant. They will need to take their time for this. Hauzuk lining up a flash for the donut player of Fang. Is he going to come forward on it? He will, and they were ready for that. So now there's two rifles available. The Famous has been scooped. So the M4, I don't think they're going to be able to get it. It's all about Temple right now, and Shush is very aware of it. Is there a flashbang to assist the CTs? Absolutely not. That's actually a five on two with an Ego and a single AK. He is absolutely decimating them now. That's three M4 kills. There. Wow. If they, okay. If they head over to the Temple, there should be another M4 on the floor, I believe. Doesn't look like they're going to get everybody in place to pick those weapons up. Now, with that force by loss, let me uh, illustrate for you how much worse it gets for complexity throughout the remainder of this Please group. Do. Let's go. Tomorrow they take on Mouse. Okay, difficult game. And uh, then their final matchup on the Sunday, Super Sunday, is against Ents. I thought so. That makes sense. And uh, this series looks like it could be going against in their first L in the column. That uh, you never know. Early days here. Uh, still with the chance to take us to a third if possible. But for now, they'll be on the force by themselves. Five sevens and Deagles. Smoke and a flash. They've given up mid-control already. As uh, holding towards Red Room, Halzerk, very proficient with the Desert Eagle, has to be said. Impressive. Made a bit of a name for himself here at ESL Pro League, but uh, his KD with the MAC-10, perfect weapon for the job. An armored head of Grim is removed. A bit sketchy, but he has noted there is another defender over towards the ace side, and that's been their preference these first three rounds, at least in the early stages for Heroic. And now back towards B, they're going to bounce. They're really trying to sell this. And, and this is the key with a map like Ancient. Teams are going to hightail it to defend A. Because normally you have one player there, and you know that it's easy to retake bomb site. So you will have more members towards mid and the B bomb site. Now, they are actually coming back. Don't know how much Tessa saw there. I don't think it's going to matter. Shush and Kadian grab a couple. And oh, there's only two to find here. And they know where one is. Lots of steps being made from JT. He's down looking sharp now. and. This one has been a breeze. Force yeah. by that had no resistance. Absolutely none. Very well handled and uh, convincing. Played towards the A side there. Didn't really give much up at all. That's a force by, of course, as well. So presumably it's going to be three one starts here on the T side campaign for Heroic. Not really much you can do on these full ecos on a map like Ancient. You can maybe stack towards middle and hope they misstep and uh, fully send it towards that area of the map. But it's unlikely. They're very aware of what they're up against. And uh, we'll see how they handle it. So with the MAC-10, of course, for Cadian, makes a lot of sense, save the money, farm some cash, in fact, maybe come out with profit if you get a couple of kills. Now, I monitor uh, Twitch chat every now and again just to get a, a sense of what the hive mind are up to. It's you know? good to understand what everyone's talking about. They have some fun jokes in there as well. Okay, anything popping off the, the page for you right now? Nothing crazy at the moment. Is there any hooksy chat? They, there is always Hooksy chat. Now yeah, that you've mentioned Hooksy, it is going to pop off. There's always people in there just going, when's Hooksy playing? Like, Hooksy oh, would have aced that. You know? It's the funniest thing we've come up with for a while. This, uh, that being a concept, just uh, always a lot of fun. I'm sure I've uh, 
thrown meat down into the cage now. They're all going to be scampering Oh, for yeah. It. Like seagulls here in a second. Because <laughs> we're a little bit ahead, right? It's about to pop off. I'm, I'm focused here, laser focused on what they're about to say. Well, you keep uh, an eye on that. Uh, let us know how insane it gets. Maybe we'll break the Twitch chat servers. Who knows? But uh, for now, another buy for complexity. They do have the glass cannon AWP for Halzerk. No kids, real light on utility as well. And no fast mid control from Heroic just yet. Quite a default setup, but they are leaning towards A as they enter the tunnel dry now, just uh, juggling around their utility. Yeah, well, just A persistence here. I, I guess early conditioning, just like any other map. And it's all, you could chat Hooksy in the chat right now. There we go. Yeah, it's really Love popping off. And luckily we've had a lull in play. And this is looking likely to be a full A set piece. Now, Cadian from this position, he can throw a bunch of different smokes. The CT one the most likely. Oh, that's what he was lining up. Now, is this, is this Temple? Temple, it looks like. Yeah, he's got another smoke at his uh, footing there. So he can throw the second towards Spawn, I'd imagine. Yeah, and there's one towards Donut already in the sky. So the full execute is in play. Oh, yeah, and then some. So no fakes here. They are fully committed to this, but they put the fear and God of them with the potential of fakes right early. Oh! Grim's got two. Okay, well, that was the only position they really had to worry about there. They mollied everything, and in the flames, Grim's getting them two kills. This A site, it's hard to hold on to. What are the post plans looking like here? Another wow. molly over towards the temple position. JT, he can peek in front of that. Needs to be careful with the lick of the flame. They have main, main control. They've got platform control on Stown, but this position, you need to be very whippy. Another smoke towards CT. That's going to stall this out. And as they start to peek forward, Kadian, he still has a gap to work with, and this gap is going to surely net him a kill or two. Stown gets overrun. Kadian now needs to step up. The first is good. The smoke being bad, it really causes a few issues. And now Tessus, the buffer of his own design, it's too far gone. I don't think there's a kid. I don't think there's a hope. This one's looking good for Heroic's fourth. I think you're dead on, Chad. Good call, no kits. And uh, that's going to be enough, even with the four on three advantage. The bomb was planted very quickly there on the full execution. Great effort by Grimm as well. As you mentioned, there was only one real spot. He could cause any damage there. Another fantastic display of utility from Heroic. Let's have another look at it. Here's Grimm, you can see towards the back of the bomb site. Lovely spray down, two and a half kills, I would say, but uh, JT and his efforts unable to capitalize as they just don't have the kit. They can't justify going for it in Tessas. He had Helzerk behind that smoke as well. who couldn't push through. But if they didn't miss the smoke on main, Kadian wouldn't have got the kill on JT, which meant all the exactly flies could right. have been on Tessas right there. So an unforced error causing some issues. As, uh, down and up. B this time, a five-man attack. So maybe a split between the cave and b ram position. We still won B-Rush today. That was on Dust 2, though. Tessas, though. Looking to open things up if possible, but uh, he's denied access as Halzog will get two fantastic That's much shots. more like it. Absolutely. Just trying to explore their options towards B, see what they've got going on there. Because remember, they finished up A pretty much every single round so far. Nicely. So you're trying to cause the rotations on that side of the map. Try and throw in a B rush. Got the MAC-10s out there. Why not? Doesn't work out there. Halzog very much ready for it. And Shush, he's in towards the B high, I believe, of course. Yeah, I, that's a, because it's a position where there's always a lot going on, yeah. right? There's a bit of buzzing going on there at all times. That's a, a, a Chad Burgel exclusive. I don't think it's called no, anywhere I, else, but I, I like that you're I, using it. I really enjoy it. I think it's the perfect name for it. I know exactly. I, but before I even knew that's what you called it, I knew where you meant. Okay, well, that's it. good. Yeah. So, now, uh, I don't know if you saw this, Henry, about 17 minutes ago on the social medias. Okay. At ESL CS, which is the... Twitter account. The official Twitter account. Uh, sure. They made a tweet saying that there's some uh, tickets available if you want to get the tickets for the playoffs for the Pro League. Okay. Uh, you can head over, so check out. Live Twitter. audience available. Yeah, you can grab your tickets over there. Now I know there's a, a small population here in Malta, but uh, we want to represent, don't we? We want to fill it out. Precisely. Even if it's small, let's uh, make some noise. Absolutely. That's uh, a great shout. Get your tickets now. Check out the ESL CS Twitter account. Either way, here we go. Gadium. Just showing presence here towards the B ram. Molotov there to deny vision with the CTs. If they make their way towards Cave, this part of the map hasn't seen much action, but we have got a double setup here. Halzog with the AWP trying to set up floppy. And uh, difficult spot to clear, has to be said. A tight corner. Decent nade, however, lands on his front doorstep and down to 60 HP he goes. I wonder if they throw a bit of util over towards A, if they draw a massive Go. fake. Uh, forget about the fake. JT. He has to sit and watch right now. Tessas annihilates him up to seven kills as they search forward into A. Grim with the AWP, though. This could be good. Yep. And it's the old bait and switch as well. Bang. Very handy in these sort of scenarios. All the attention towards the temple. I dare say he might be getting a, a couple of frags now. But now they have the man advantage and sending heroic packing. They won't be able to find access towards a bomb type through the donut. They'll have to try elsewhere. Yabi positions himself towards Red Room.
And there is an opportunity, but it's going to be the AWP waiting on the other side. Beautiful shot from Halzerk, and uh, surely that's round. They're going to be hard to clear Floppy, that's for sure. And especially now that they've given up their position with the smoke, he knows they're coming. Rotation also on the way. Stout needed to be clean, and now Cadian with the AWP, he's trapped. Go for the wall bang, maybe. That's about it. There it is. It's cheeky. Uh, by giving up his position, they are going to start to hone on in. I, I think he should have enough time to get away. There was plenty of cash left over, and they, they will be able to buy again in the next with where the loss bonus is at. So saving this. Counter terrorists win. The AWP up. No extra investment for Cadian other than Util into the next round. And uh, if they want to make sure they can continue to buy Heroic, we'll need to convert one here soon. It's two consecutive now from Complexity, starting to erect this blue wall. Well, now they've got the double orb set up, things starting to make sense. You can see Grim managing to actually fend them off now against these executions. He's actually able to get a very clean shot towards Donut. Fang then set up towards the bomb site itself. That was a beautiful shot, for sure. But this is what it's all about there. They've smoked off towards the A entrance itself, so they can really focus and hone in towards Donut and then push them back in towards the B bomb site. So you've got one of the most solid anchors you could ask for. Floppy, ready and waiting, mows them down, pushes them back. And that's going to be three rounds of complexity as we take a timeout of an execute where you can close down the ground on these orbs it won't be easy for them to find any retake action here so back towards a that's where it worked but guess what there's a bit of a push coming here see the awp posted up it's going to facilitate this push of fang in towards main he's going to be deep on the left a hard clear for Cadian and co so a two-pronged approach they seem to be somewhat aware of it on the heroic side and they will be disjointed to some degree if they take fang down it's gonna to have to be a quick swing from grim but uh things better of it and fall back to a more defensive line. Flashbang's coming in his area now. Has to fire off a shot. They don't have to commit to this. Sure, he's uncomfortable, but you've got the man advantage. One minute 20 remaining. He can pump the brakes, go back into a default, and that's exactly what they're doing. Towards middle we go. Biggest issue is how much utility they've got left at this juncture, right? A smoke, a flash, a couple of mollies in play. If an AWP does find itself in the right place at the right time, it could take a couple of plucky shots. Right. Very fortunate, both orbs are still over towards A. Do have a lot of info and a lot of control, but still down a man. This incendiary uh, Molotov, they've been perfectly placed, and they're going to molly the pillar and the cubby, so running through the flames. Follow up very as well. Yeah. Overwhelming floppy now. The walking wounded. Doing what he can. Still going to be that five on four. Time up the essence now. Hauser doesn't miss that shot too often, does he? That's very comfortable for him. Cadian dropped, and they'll have to commit towards A, knowing that at least Hauser's towards middle. Bomb planted. Grim can do nothing about it, but he has got back up on the way. The retake now, Chad, with the double orbs. This is where things may become problematic. Fortunately, as we mentioned, Heroic have expended most of their utility, so there's no smokes down, no flashes, so they do have some open runway here. If they can take this initial space, Straight out on these fights, the all towards Donut could be nice. Tassus and Stown are going to strike. Halzerk still alive on his AWP, and well, he's the only one standing now. This is a hard round to win. Yeah, his options are very limited. No Tessus is there, but if he makes a sound cue. He's in a lot of trouble, and Yavi with the off angle. That's going to be a clean shot to close things out. Uh, it was a decent effort on the retake there, but ultimately the double orbs not really suited for that sort of retake, and... Uh, Money's still okay. I don't think they can justify double orbs again. We'll see. They could afford it, but I don't think they'll be forcing it. So, let's have a replay of Shush there. That was towards the A tunnels, of course. Hauser detects the split coming through, but just trade after trade. Nothing they could do. The orb couldn't get stuck in until his teammates had arrived at the scene of the crime. A good understanding there of the orbs coming in as well. If you, if you gave them too much ground, it could have caused big issues, but scrimming out right now. Tess is on the extinguish. He's yeah, found in the smoke. So, Fang, last round, he was the opening death. This time, the opening kill. A response, though. Stown, does he want to go a little bit further with this? Apparently, the answer is yes. He spotted Floppy towards the pillar, and he'll have to fall back in towards the cave. No option but to sit back and wait and invite some in towards the B bomb side, but they decline as they hold towards T spawn. Oh, Grim with the wall bang. Okay. Tidy stuff there. That's not bad at all, is it? Beautiful kill. Can okay. he hold on to it, though? Absolutely. A lot of work here. This full response on the rotate, it's been wonderful. Caught him up a few times. Okay, that was not required, but not the end of the world. He goes down. Maybe invites him in towards B, but they still have a minute to work with. Gadian waits patiently outside the cave with the smoke. AWP in hand. And now, if he can find a pick and response, maybe on this B side of the map, he's got Shush now heading in towards T-Spawn. He's about to smoke towards that donut, I believe. Yeah, it looks 
Oh, it's all the way over towards A here. So that's a... Oh, it lands right a donut, but uh, not the side you might expect. It's on the CT side. That's some geeky level stuff there from Shush, but he's under pressure. Katie and caught out as well. They know where both are, and Shush is going to have to do it all. There has to be another one here. It is Fang. Open and close this round. A great round from Fang. Up to three kills. And there's the smoke highlighted. That was a cool one. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Do that on a fast day. Yeah, good idea. Well, here we go then. That's uh, surely an eco. Or at least eco territory for Heroic Grim. Showing uh, the understanding of the K position. Great wall bang. Three kills in total. Lovely stuff. Really enjoyed that from him. Thanks to close things out. Got a bit dicey at one point, but uh, Grim saves the day. Back to a double orb setup. And a, and a buy with some AKs here. So they've, well, they've gone to the cross, and they are going to go fast. Eh? A molly close. That's going to stall out the aggression. Yabby making himself seem as big as he can over towards B with an extinguish. Don't know, smoke lined up for Stown here. There is another one available just behind. So I think he's changing the order of the smokes. That's going to be one over towards CT. And then Donut comes second there out main straight into the orb again. Very easy for Grim there, but not so much for Fang. Still a four versus four. This was a force by Bear in mind. A huge round for Complexity to take if they can. A boost up to avoid the crosshair of the scoped rifle. And bomb planted. Kits available. Utility are plenty on the CT side. They've got four smokes, flashes and all sorts. They should have the upper hand in this one, but a lot of work to do. Great flashback. Nothing Yabby can do about it. Pop flash from CT spawn. There's one of the smokes down, but a slight gap, I would say. It might actually work in their favor. So this is looking very good for the complexity retake. Lots of utility, as we mentioned. A backstab in vain. And that's going to be all she wrote. Good job from sure. She gets one kill, but uh, that force by at least gets a plant, Chad. And the loss bonus racking up now to about the fourth stage. You get $2,900 per player on top of the $800 for the plant. So uh, here we go. Let's see what they can do. At this juncture for Heroic, uh, I would I would be expecting them to finally relent on these buys. They have gone for some Tech Nines and some Deagles. Now, there's two flashes and a smoke, and again, more heavy with a mid focus this time. There's the deep mid. But they do it instantaneously. I'm so curious as to why they, they throw. So they don't allow the, the seven seconds of the flames and then drop the, the smoke, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I get players could be ahead of it, but that, that's going to be the case regardless because you're not throwing a close molly. So I, I guess they just want the smoke to bloom as quickly as possible because it that does pop point, straight away, yeah. right? They just want it because no one's going to run through the flames, but if they run for the gray screen, then they can't do anything, I suppose. That's true. That is one way to look at things. Nice shot from Shush again, and uh, that'll be the light investment dealt with. So the AK is to come back out now. Heroic started well. Won the force by in round number two, went on a spree of four. Have one dotted in the mix here, but in the last uh, six rounds of play, it's in mainly complexity. Uh, yeah, they've ever since the double orbs came out, or if Grim just picking up the AWP in general, he's looked very confident. He is top bragging with Hauser, so that's testament to the setup. Both picked up uh, 10 kills apiece as uh, we send Hauser back towards the B ramp this time, and he'll be greeted by some angry heroic players who want that lead back. Distinguishing the flames for now. And what's in store for them here? It's going to be another Hauser open and kill. Yabby trying to pounce on the opportunity, but he's running through the flames. Everyone's blind. Yeah, everyone is. Who comes out on top here? JT will take a player down. And it's very scrappy. Difficult to keep track of what's going on here. It's a man advantage, but not for long. Loppy will chime in as well. And Yabby just playing ring around the Rosie right now. There's still a kill for Yabby. This round is not over just yet. They have no idea he's this close, but uh, maybe even a double kill. They've lost track of him. They've completely oh. lost the by Fang. Well, I guess they hadn't completely lost track of him here. This was a buy from Heroic, and it was a Hail Mary attempt. Nice opening from Halzerk, and now it is just Katie, and this would be a great attempt with the clutch here. Seems like he just wanted to get out of there after the first. Big swipe away, and... Run away as well. This is actually... Not the full commit over towards A, so hoping it buys some time for the rotation. He would be correct. Grim isn't just rotating straight towards A. He's actually take a bit of a slower route here. So Kadian could have actually gotten to a lot of different positions during this rotation. And in this situation on the CT side, you just play to deny the bomb going down. That's about it, right? But uh, Kadian does even fancy it. He's actually got himself towards CT spawn. 7 HP. I don't know if there's time, Henry. That's the Oof. issue. Well, if he goes towards A, I guess there's a chance. He yeah, now, now he definitely... He can't clear this no. in time. He has to run. I don't know what he's up to. He's going to get caught out as well. He's just realized what's happened here. And now it, the round is over. It's just a matter of fact, where he kills 
Two. Rim. You have to peek. One. Off the time. Be careful. Oh, he'll still get the orb at least. So that's something, I suppose. Oh, oi. Okay, almost in the open there for Fang to pick up that final kill. But uh, seven to five now. A two-round lead. Kadian retains the AWP, but that's the only... And here we go. The final complexion of the buy. It's towards B. He's actually going to be focusing towards that K position. And Floppy, more than happy time for information at the start. I can hear them. Very noisy about this, aren't they? Floppy has to be worried in this position. Spam's a problem. Molly's too. That's a lot of early cave control here for sound to work with. Will Floppy be flashed in, maybe? I think because of the supports here of Hauser, yes. yeah, there, there's the flash and actually playing anti, so it's down. What's... He chews them up. Anti flash okay. perfectly prepared for exactly that maneuver. That is massive. And they're capitalizing upon it as well. You think maybe they slowed things down, but uh, they've got the smokes to back it up as well. And incendiary. Oh, I was about to say does nothing, but the USP certainly does. Oh, I feel like he's gonna cause absolute hell here. Not connecting with the no scopes just yet. Four versus three. How's it makes this possible? A nice AT follow up as well, but SS. He's coming through the back tracks. Oh. Lovely shot now. They have no idea what's going on. He just needs to stay alive, remain in nuisance. They'll have to come and clear him out manually. And Stow will take that opportunity to pounce. What a brilliant round there. As you mentioned, anti flash towards the cave. Fang with the AWP in front of him. He actually has a slight chance, I suppose. Good flash. Has been tagged up, but Katie to finish off the job. So. There it is, one orb saved. It wasn't actually the AWP that did most of the heavy lifting. It was that, oh, look at Kadian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <real laughs> even get the finish right sentence there. That was uh, mesmerizing. But yeah. this is the moment we were looking for. Uh, it was a nice idea. You can see Halso with the perfect flashbang in, but they were so ready for it, right? It feels like that was a counter that uh, Heroic knew yeah. that this is a potential play right. that Complexity liked to run because Stown is fully committed. And that might say something about the celebration, right? Because if Kadian said, hey, let's go with this maneuver that we know they like to play, right. and it works that perfectly. Satisfying, right? Sure, Stown gets the kills, but set up in that direction. So it is, uh, well, a rough situation for Complexity here. Well, they'll have to dish it out, just like they received it. Kadian looking stronger now with the AWP towards Red Room. Tessas will find a second kill. Frags are plenty now. Just one player surviving. Blink and you'll miss it. As Fang is isolated towards the donut position. Almost no way he can win this round. But with a couple of low HP players and his skill, you never know. They are heading in towards, towards A, I think. That's the key, right? Because if they're lax about this, he can be a, a real problem here. Sure. And uh, he's ducking and weaving. He's not giving anything away. He's waiting for a mistake. And here's the first one. Full HP. Shush gone. Kadian low, Yabby as well. At least they know where he is now, and they're just going to wait and see if he peeks even further. He is starting to look in, and Kadian, he wants another kill on the AWP. He's going to get it. Three for him in the round, one for Tessus, one for Yabby, and 7-7. Seven, seven. Looks like we're going to have uh, the 8-7 scoreline, same as app number one. But for a T-Hall, Heroic have done more than enough. I think you're right, more Sam. Considering how good complexity have looked in the last few gun rounds as well, to win that round of the pistols as well, just to cherry on the cake for them. And uh, they're looking fired up as a squad outside of the server as well. So uh, you can see how Zach feeling the heat there. And final round will come in, just pistols and one M4, the big man himself. And maybe a bit of a boost towards the B-bomb site, I think uh, they're setting up for. There it is. I like this boost, it does give you nice vision. Yeah, he wants to follow him out. I think he wants to go for a deeper peek here. So instructing JT, the bottom of this totem to assist. And they have an angle, but in the beehive, Protect the queen. That's going to be Yabby right now. That's a CT smoking donut yeah. there. So they're wanting to block them from having that avenue of assault on A. Really starting to rifle through that final piece of the utility. A one way for Grim. Okay. I want to block him, wants to fight him. Going to flash. He's looking for more here. They know they need to try and make some miracles happen. And I don't know if they're going to check this position. JT on the jiggle here is telling that he won't expect a player this close. So if Yabby. Steps out, JT's gone, and now it's just Floppy. Lone well, defender at the pillar, gone too. I was about to say, never say just Floppy, but uh, he doesn't actually do much to that one. Unfortunately, it's going to be Kadian, though. Could be in trouble with the bomb as well, Chad. I, I guess he's going down, but there's Shush. Saving the day, and uh, could have gone all sorts of wrong, but uh, there it is, the bomb making its way towards B. And uh, we should have a plant, and indeed a round. How's it? There's no kit. Half HP, just a flashbang to work with. Smoked out. Um, I think that's enough variables to suggest that he's not doing this. Well, if there was a world where Halzerk can convert, he needs to get started now. 
time. Inching ever closer here to a heroic eighth. He's crept past the first port of call. Now the second is Cadian's orb. Steps into it. Cadian's going to get 13. Kevlar on a T-side pistol. You don't see this all that often. Their fleshy bodies will be thrown in towards the bombside chat around. Smoke and flames. We'll see how it goes for them. There's the smoke towards uh, the CT side of Donut for now. And in terms of the complexity finish, it's just JT. Ah, well, play up. Their fake isn't as convincing, is it, Henry? Not really. Uh, especially when it's JT that goes down as well. You can pretty much just safely assume it is a fake. And here come the Jewelies now, making light work of those unarmored players. But Grim oh, dropping dear. out of nowhere. Find four kills. I have no idea what just happened. Yabi now, with it all to do, he knows exactly where the planter is, but... Oh, can't do anything with it. Floppy will close out the round, and that's astonishing. We were kind of talking like it was already over. The fate didn't work out. The dual bread is here, but it's Floppy and Grim. They can't believe it. Even Grim's starting to get into the yelling match here. That is a massive pistol round to pull off. I have no idea. Watch this again. Right. Yeah, so so the Julies are munching away here, right? I think the reload's coming in from I'm the Cubby player. Point. The, the reload's coming in for... Oh, that's huge. So the, I think Kadian's out of ammo in that situation. Shush goes down in transition. Yabby's like, where did everybody just go? And he makes it close. But here it is, the replay. Grim moves the mic away. Gets the yell going. Having a bit of fun with this as the force by back. Whew. Need a minute to catch the breath, I think. Yeah, that was wild. Well, they steal one away. That was certainly around heroic thought. Was under lock and key. But anything but. Complexity... Bust out of the B-bomb site, and Grim completely eradicates all defending players. That was wonderful. Well, this is where the mind games really start to play in against a team like Heroic with these stacks. You can see here, Shush in main with a lot of info. Does have to worry about the slink through Donut. But they've gambled that it will be a B play here. Taking this cave control. And right now, having a look at the utility available for complexity, if they do want to finish towards this B-bomb site, We'll have smokes are plenty. That nay, not bad whatsoever. Big chunk of damage done. Is that enough to make JT reconsider the finish here? If they wait too long, Henry, and they go to execute, they can stall them out with their own smokes. And that right there would be the most miserable point of this. Fortunately, the rotation from Grimm says that maybe it's a B fake into an A split. Off ledge into Donut, high tail it towards A. Yeah, and there's no CT presence at A whatsoever. So this is uh, an idyllic situation now for the likes of Complexity. Halzerk, full send, and he even gets the first kill as well. Oh, Maybe good for a second. Enough. Farming cash here, and as mentioned, the A side's already open. He's on for three, finally shut down in the round. Uh, it's also over as the plan will be coming through. Complexity looking pretty handy here, Chad. Okay, well, it's great to see some signs of life from them in this second half. It is always going to be an uphill battle on the T side. But this is both pistols for them, and the difference between the first and the second half is the conversion. So right. that is going to be the biggest green check mark next to their name. Now it's really going to be about how much more can they get away with. There's booby traps into the next. If Tessas, Shush, and Yabi all get to retain what they have right now, Shush can drop a deagle. There's a spare smoke on the ground there as well. I'm not sure if that is going to be scooped up. And uh, Tessas could drop a Deagle or the MAC-10. So everybody from Heroic in the next round will have something as an upgrade. That is guaranteed. They'll have something. And that's all you need sometimes. That's really all you need. Just a little something. It's not, it's not the best. No one's saying that. But an MP9, a MAC-10, and a Scout, it may do. And uh, they're up against uh, similar firepower to complexity. They've got a couple of MAC-10s themselves, but surrounded by AKs. That will be the difference maker for sure. As uh, round 18 is here. Never a foregone conclusion when Heroic on the server. Danish players and Deagles, there's something about it. And off we go then. Round 18. Still tight as you like. With one round separating these two teams. Very early D presence here with this fake. Tessas might have to play in front of that U tilt. JT's, in the meantime, taking a tag. And, oh, that's a double strike right there. Lateral. Halzerk and Grim, the yeah. walking wounded, limping around the map. Look at this, JT 38, Halzerk 35, Grim 11. That's wild how much damage was inflicted with the scout there. You'd think uh, it wouldn't be as significant with the collab, but still, they're in a lot of trouble now. Still a five on five, sure, but they are very weak. Up against the Mac 10s the MP9s. Chad, this could be monumental. Floppy's still healthy. He's waiting for the push from Tessas, but they've got the same weaponry. Tessas with no helmet, however. That's the, the real problem for him. And that's 
Demonstrated by that. Oh, no head for floppy though, helmet or not. All right, well, the HP is still a massive issue for JT Halzerk and Grim. That hasn't got any better. Health shots aren't in the game just yet. And oh, Stout, he's going to peer right in. He's seen many, many more. Scouts. Once again, we'll have to deliver. Oh, he's going to get an opportunity. It's a headshot as well. Oh, Kadian gets both kills, converts it down to a three versus one. And Fang, known to win these sort of rounds, might be playing it perfectly. Edges round towards long, spots a player but gives up his position. Now they can swarm him. Molotov down to segregate the other two players, but is he aware that Kadian's already Another in position? Tag. He's done so much damage here. Probably close to about three, four hundred damage. And uh, we'll see if he plays <laughs> things out. He absolutely can. He's going to be yelling, Chad. Get that camera on Kadian right now. What a round from Kadian there. That is massive quiet, work from him. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, That's what I wanted to see. That. That's what I wanted to see. Unleashing on them now, and that is the type of round. Floppy uh, has given him a little of his own back there. He's uh, said, guys, press tab. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, things are level, Floppy. It's 9-9. Nine, nine. Press tab. Oh, that's really good. Amazing round from Acadian. Um, don't want to take anything away from this uh, with the fun we're having. That was really, really skilled. They've actually got the collateral towards A, rotating back in towards the B bomb side as well. Didn't miss a beat, hitting every single shot. Key frags there, and they're right back into it. 9-9, Cadian on the front foot this time. AK-47, no scout, no more. And uh, re-smoking towards the B double doors. Lovely work. Rise another 20 seconds, looking for any encroaching key players above, maybe boosting, having a look. Grim's the only real threat, I would say, at the moment. If he can walk out on A and find a pick, then we know how quick Heroic like to rotate but there's no real avenue in. Mid elbow's just been smoked off. Grim is working on this A side fake here. There's a donut in Molly, a uh, smoke in play, a CT smoke as well, and, and Grim's gone. So he still got a little bit of a move on here, but it looks like Heroic are ready for this. Katie just dumped a massive grenade on them as they came through those doors. They preempted this and double digits now. Yeah, yeah, beautiful shot from him. So uh, it's looking great. Five AKs, Henry. Absolutely. That's the dream setup on the CT side. And this could be the beginning of the end for complexity in this series. They're in uh, an awkward spot now. Heroic have now taken full control after losing the pistol once again. They have bounced back. It's now 2-2 on the half. And they have full control of the finances and indeed the AK-47s. Like, it's quite rare to see that many. Five of them across the board. They need a name for that. Like, uh, I think there's something there. Yeah, no, you're right. They're definitely, I'm trying to think. I was, I was trying to think of, of stealing from the terrorists, but I... I, I <laughs> not really no. the best name. No, not, it's not catchy at all. Not That's catchy at all. This is what happens when you throw this deep smoke, right, and it lands on top of the incendiary. This could be called like a flush, you know? Flush? Because that's in, in poker, you got five at the door. Same. You might get dug or same upset suits. again, careful. True, yeah. You gotta be careful when you talk I think that's what it is, right? The same, the same suit, you got five of them, it's a flush. I think an AK flush sounds pretty good. Sure. I, I can see, I see what you're doing there. All right. That's the bet. Have you got better in this suggestion for us? When the CDs get five AKs, what should we call it? I think a flush is a pretty good name, but oh, uh, how one, 10 AKs. Oh, as well, the people are now calling it the Royal Flush. Let's see. Nice little extinguish here from Fang. It's going to be gap created. Flashed JT, just hoping nobody pushes his position. But Katie, and we know he loves to push the rest of Well, this time, <laughs> it's actually going to work out on Inferno. It didn't Ooh. work at all. Floppy with the stand battle back goes down to 34. It will draw things level at 4v4. But I just have to look at Stan's aggressive position in A main right now and think to myself, this is quite the place to find yourself. They have all the information. You're more than happy to allow them to go donut to A because you get tells and you're a nuisance to clear. So this is uh, an understandable rotation from Heroic here. Well, we'll slow things right down. CTs have looked incredibly strong the last three rounds. Floppy and Co just investigating their options towards Jaguar and Cave. Floppy and Co sounds like a children's television <laughs> show. Just Floppy and Co, they're here to play. Coming over to... The B bomb side, hey. You could have said coming in from the USA. Ah, uh, that would have been better. Yeah. yeah, and we would have got more viewers. But here's this push from Stown. He's about to clown on Fang. As long as he clears middle. That's a freebie, isn't it? The corner and should be a hello Look. governor type of moment. Ah, uh, yes, jumping. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. You be make sure you're efficient when killing Fang in the back because he will whip around and take your head off no problem. Well, that's the bomb and uh, Probably the round, unfortunately. Grim will do very well to find this kill. Recover the C4 after he's given his position up as well. Three fire from Stown. He's had a great round there. Is that three kills in total? It absolutely is. As they get closer and closer to the 2-0.
Don't want to press tab now, boys. You've got the complexity side, I would say. Yeah, there's no more chit chat going on right now, <laughs> is there? No. A deafening silence, that's for sure. Tech 9's been brought in the next round. Nice spam battle, as you mentioned, but Shush, he probably came out on top there. This is a very important kill. Bomb goes down, and I'll uh, getting the pressure now. So, towards B we go, ladies and gents. B rushes can be quite fruitful on a map like Ancient. They're just going to go for it, and if you get that first dink, absolutely it can work out, but that says with a couple of kills, managing to stay alive now. Will he get spammed down? Apparently not. No danger here whatsoever. It's going to be a clean sweep, and uh, the round's over in about 15 seconds. Didn't even get to finish the first sentence there. These are my favorite type of rounds. Says, uh, I have Tessus and Shush in my fantasy team, and I need some points. So, Tessus up to 16. Shush only on 14. I don't know what roles I put on them here. My fantasy, Henry, I am in the top 99%. Not the top 1%, the top, top 99%. 99%. Wow, this what week an hasn't gone well. I picked Dexter, Torji, uh, Shush, Tessus, and Jax. Okay. And, uh, it's not It's not going I guess they well. Have, yeah, I guess the last couple of days. The first day might have been okay for you, but the second, not so much. Alien just took 80 damage in a Molotov. Playing the game on hard mode. Apparently, it's been too easy on this CT yeah. side. Handicap himself as we'll go towards what looks to be an A execution. Just off the bat here, no sets folks from spawn, destroying them on the fly. Trying to have the element of surprise perhaps as uh, they've actually made decent ground here, but they have to avoid the spam of the AK-47. DPS output will be very high indeed. And uh, well, it's connecting now. Shush has got his lineup sorted. That's Fang dropped. Oh, they're getting peppered, battered and bruised here. The bomb with a brave swing towards CT spawn. And they come out on top, back to a four and four, but they've now only got one flashbang remaining, Chad. That's yeah, on the T side. They just have to stand and fight here. It's very difficult as long as people continue to peek in like that. Yabby takes down, it was taken down by JT and Grim. Oh, that's no Cadians around here. There was a silence then four in play. Low HP of JT, he's got one to his name and Cadian. That was the bomb as well. Yeah, taking a risk there. That's a bit of wrap around. They want this space and control because if they're actually able to walk through Donut, they, they could reroute. They could Time is really at the reroute. Though. There, there, there still is just enough time here. It is Halzerk, which should be dead to rights to Kade in here. Oh, what's going on? They're coming back towards A. Kadian might have everything. Silence them four. Halzerk's probably questioning what just happened. And now they are dipping. Good luck, lads. Start the clock. 15 seconds to make their way through cave. There'll be enough time to plow, but will there be any CT presence whatsoever? Oh, oh, they thread the needle here. JT on one HP. He's going to be able to plant the bomb in time. It's floppy. He's got two back turn. Floppy needs a double up. He can only get one. Now, speaking of one, that's exactly how much health JT will have for this clutch. He'll have to play with his brain rather than his aim, Chad. He needs to disposition himself into spots where they won't be checking and hopefully avoid combat until the last moment. We'll see how he fares and giving up his position now. This could be problematic. And fortunately, a low HP player in the form of Cadian, but uh, there we have it. It was always going to be very difficult. Floppy had to get both those kills, which he could have done. Didn't quite work out. Definitely had the opportunity. Cadian now up to 24 kills in total. 17 for Tassa, 17 for Stown, 15 apiece for Shush and Yabby. They're uh, running away with this one now. Just two more rounds. Heroku, we heading this one up 2-0. The Danish teams to get a victory today. Snappy might want to grab one as well for Ents later on when they do take on Mouse. That's the fixture coming up next. We're looking at 6.40 on the clock here at local time. So I think it's what, 7.30 is meant to be the start time for that final series? Yes, indeed. So we might be, uh, on might be on schedule. Might be on schedule. Might be right. Okay, well, no delays here for the final series. Well, who knows? I've nah, been to the future. Yeah, you've seen it all. I've seen it all. I know how it all ends. I can tell you who wins the season, but that would spoil all the fun. Snown has been great. Very assertive on Ancient. So is Cadian. Oh, I didn't think he stood a chance of that flick, but uh, he connects better than ever. And uh, they've got the man advantage. Good damage there coming in from the T side spam. Oh, the Navy's better though, unfortunately, for them. Might as well retreat now. It's getting a little bit dicey. Look at all those lovely flashbangs waiting in spawn. Now, another oh, great nade. It's all that's... on a hook for Yabby, but uh, he'll be taken down with a preemptive shot there from Floppy. Yabby and Floppy. Locking horns. And Tussle of the Titans. <laughs> some would say. But uh, maybe a boost Cadian's anticipating here on the B-Ramp box. Not going to happen. Oh, maybe it will. I spoke too soon, but uh, smoked off. 
now I'm very happy with this. Lots of low HP players available, but Grim leads the charge. That's, They've done great work. That's getting a little bit too tricky, boys. Trying boosts. The smoke was good, but caught off by the gray screen. It might just... Oh, it doesn't have to be a save. There's plenty of cash. I think do as much damage as possible right now if you are heroic. That was a, a fumbled opportunity here. A round that really should have been theirs. They're, yeah, they're, they're just going for damage here, right? You can see Shush over towards CT Spawn, hoping they exit in his direction. Tessus is going to be in combination with him over towards the totem near mid. So there's availability to do a little bit of damage here, but that, that's a lifeline for complexity in this matchup. It's only going to be their uh, third round of the T-Hall, and the first two came with the pistol and the conversion against the force. And uh, one day that sound bug will be fixed, but that's when Source 2 will come out, I imagine. I kind of like him. It's only it's, on maps uh, with water. It's quite tranquil, isn't it? Up at the overpass. Yes. Yeah, it does. I forgot about it. God, it's been a while. Yeah. I forgot about all these uh, little moments we have sometimes. But some of it is just like, I, I wish we could could get an answer for what's going on. See, like this. We don't want this. And it's also just us. That's the other crazy thing. It's only <laughs> us who can hear it. So I do sound like a crazy old man. I am. But, uh, you know, that that's not my fault, I promise. All right, Insta Window from the Flop Dog there. I do like that line. I'm going to have to steal that one. Mine's a little bit more crouchy. Not crouchy. The utility battle towards middle, Rage is on, and Tess has had enough. Great work. As I said, he's been playing in a very assertive manner, but Floppy, he's had some great follow-up rounds here after a quiet second half so far. Brings it back to a four and four. Keeps it competitive. Cadian and Stown, given the responsibility of holding B. This is where I think if Heroic just sit back and allow complexity to work, that they, they might find themselves in a bit of trouble here. Still a lot of utility for the execute. Plenty of smokes, plenty of mollies, plenty of flashes. So much time as well. Still, still on this 2-2 spread, it's... Abby and Shush over towards A for now. Cadian's AWP and Stown to lock down B, and Stown was elevated in the cave position with a boost onto the box. It's a mid-utility to suggest pressure over towards A. This will keep Yabi planted for now alongside of Shush. Complexity are looking for this B lane control. They have it. And we've seen them pivot from this point before to split A. So, so plenty of options available with 40 seconds left. Let's get it. This is a very crucial encounter here. Trade potential there for Fang, which he will deliver, but takes considerable damage upon approach. But it's the bomb. Maybe heading back towards A here. And Yabi lying in wait, but Fang hits an absolutely beautiful shot. Still a lot to contend with, though. Shush settles them down. And time is of the essence, Chad. That might be enough there. Even if Grim gets his kill, he's got so much to do. Has to go B. Can he even do it at this stage? Oh, Doesn't no matter. Anymore. Well, there it is. Series points for Heroic. The bomb left in an awkward spot. And now it has to be the perfect game for Complexity. In terms of the finances, they do have a full buy available, but it would take five clean rounds. No mistakes allowed at this point. And as you already mentioned, Chad, the T side. That just doesn't seem reasonable. Yeah, the, the hard work was done for Heroic in the first half. Uh, it was about now just putting this one in. They've been able to get onto the uh, green off of a par three. Just one beautiful swing. Yeah. They were using a... Uh... I was trying to think of a golf club. Sand wedge, pitching wedge, nine iron. On a, on a par three, it's actually possible. As uh, Yabby... Wow. He's looking for a hole in one here. <laughs> just going to do golf references the entire round. Oh, just put uh, Grim on a tee. <laughs> <laughs> well then. And four. Oh. Are you going to shout four when they throw yeah. the grenade? Four. Yeah. That's not bad. Well, it looks like we're coming to our logical conclusion here. Two on two. So let's chance it's so much damage. A double ding. Get it with the a nade. double nade. Four. <laughs> and it will be a kill. It would have been so good if that was a double kill then. And just left it. We could have left commentary forever. That would have been the best <laughs> moment in esports, I think. But uh, JT, who will have to do something just as good if he's uh, got a standard chance of this one. I like the idea, uh, hoping for them to make mistakes, suggesting he's gone towards A perhaps, but uh, they're not having any of it for now. Yabi and Shush, looking to close things out, and there we have it.